Hello, my Moon Tribe. My name is Haley, and this is Moon Tribe Tarot. I have just started on my journey on YouTube here. I've been reading for six years, only two of which have been professional. I decided that it was the right time for me to branch out and to meet all of you. So this is for Aquarius for the month of December 2019. It is a general reading, which means that it could be love, work, health related. Everything will probably come out. If it does, I will give my attention to that what it means most. And I'll say everything that I see. Um, being a general message, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a um, if you would like a personal reading with me, where the storyline is specific for you in mind, I have linked below in the description box all the information that you could need to get a hold of me for a personal reading. So let's go ahead, Aquarius, for the month of December 2019. What is coming in for Aquarius? What do they need to know? Cross of Truth, December 2019. For the star sign, sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, ascendant of Aquarius, 2019. There we go. Ooh. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Basis. All right, I'm going to have a, to need to get a clarity card right off the bat. Why is the Seven of Swords and Desires? Okay. Okay. So for the basis, we have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a fire sign... Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, sun, uh, sun, sun sign, fire sign individual. He would be a leader. He'd be very good at what he does in the job. He'd be very sexual, passionate, creative. Um, he could be somebody that is an artist, a musician, or somebody that is basically like a fatherly figure. This person would make a good leader. It's kind of, it's kind of like the emperor, the same kind of type of vibe that I get because he's a fire sign and Aries, um, well, Emperor is Aries, so it's kind of like the the same idea to me, at least. So it kind of reminds me of a little bit of Emperor, kind of the same vein, but not... Eh. And then we have for your desires. I pulled clarity for this because for the desires, we have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords represents to me somebody that is cunning, somebody that steals, somebody that is either cheating in a manipulative Pattern, somebody that cheats, lies, manipulates, steals, does whatever the fuck they want, basically. And then the clarity card for why the Seven of Swords came out is for temperance. And temperance is kind of like a stark contrast. Temperance is this moderation, this ebb and flow, this alchemy kind of situation. And it does not really 100% mix with the Seven of Swords. So for desires, I kind of see the need. I feel like you admittingly... I feel like you have traits that you might not really like that you possess. I kind of feel like there is something inside of yourself that is cunning. I don't want to say this as like a knock because we all have it in us. Like I have it in me. We all have. That's the whole point of tarot. We have every single lesson inside of us already. Like I can be this person on a snap. I'm not trying to insult anybody when I say, oh, uh, you might want to be cunning or you might want to be deceptive because that's I'm not necessarily giving you a slap for it. I'm just saying, you know, it's probably something that you could work on. And I definitely see the need for balance in the situation. I feel like you either it's either that you want to balance this out in yourself, that it's a quality that you don't like in yourself, or it's a quality in this King of Wands that you don't like. It could be this literal person, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy that you don't... It could, it could even be a completely different person. But somebody in your hindsight, I feel like there is a desire for ebb and flow in the situation to kind of like calm the waters. I feel like... There, I feel like somebody is making you feel like there is a need to be deceptive. It might be this King of Wands, but I feel like somebody might have played you, and now I feel like you want to play them. The advice here is to don't fucking do that, because we don't ever fucking get any good things out of negative energy. The, th the things that you do attract energy to you. If I cheat on somebody, if I'm... I don't have one, but if I had a boyfriend and I cheated on him, I'm not saying I deserve for that to happen to me, but... 
I put out that energy that, hey, this person, this person cheats. It's, it's, I'm not saying that it's like, that it should be attracted to you, but I do say that likes attract likes. If I put good energy out there, if I try to help people, it will come around. And so does the bad. It's kind of like karma. But I'm saying in the month of December, definitely keep an eye on what you want. Um, I feel like you should work towards evening things out. It could be even, I don't want to say personality disorder, but I'm hearing very strongly that something within you that you might not like and you might want to fix in moderation. Your desires is the king of swords. So this is a, so, okay. There might be, oh, there's a lot of court signs here. We have three court signs. So it's very, very, very possible this is two different storylines. It's very possible that you're dealing with multiple people, or it's very possible that you're dealing with one person that has a personality disorder or something along the lines of he doesn't know who he is, and he is always in the in-between of being an incredible quester, a very loving, compassionate person that is completely capable of love of showing love of showing empathy of being like a hey baby you want to come out on a date like it's kind of like um hopeless romantic then we have somebody that is very analytical very strong thinker um that is also very black and white thinking his truth is his truth kind of version nobody else's um he would make a good best friend but he would also cut you out if he thought that you were betraying him and then the king of wands is this leader so we have two kings and then we have a knight so all of them are pretty much for the most part higher energy but I definitely feel like you are either dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, another, another air sign individual. You are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If you're not juggling between different people, oh my God, you might be dealing with fucking different people. Kind of, I'm, oh, I'm going to read what I see. This is what I do as a job. I'm sorry. I will call the pal, the, I'm go calling the kettle black i am going to call it as i see it you can't put lipstick on a pig and call it a cow i feel like some of you might be cheating on your significant others if you are doing that you are only inviting bad energy into your life you're only inviting negative things to come in some of you this is for some of you please don't hate me i'm not saying that all of you are doing this i'm saying a very few of you might be fucking around with other people or it's possible that somebody else and you would know this would be doing this to you whatever it is i feel like it might be more so you doing this because you're, it's your own desires it might be um kind of a well he cheated on me i'm gonna cheat on him it might be that kind of energy if that is what you are doing i'm sorry so i am a tarot reader first and foremost and i'm a friend second um, if I were to be reading this to my friend and if I knew for a fact that this person was cheating on him or her and they had multiple people in their hindsight, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you can't be treating other people like that and expect to be treated well. Like, you put out what you want. So if you are doing this to somebody, you gotta cut the shit right now. I'm, I'm fucking saying it. You need to cut the shit. If somebody is doing this to you, you... I can't tell you who to have in your life or who to not have in your life because it's not for me to say. But if you know that you have a cheater in your life, if you know that you have somebody in your life that is not good for you, what the fuck are you doing staying around them for? If they're going to continuously do them harm and you're going to go around and be like, you know what, I'm going to do this to you. No, bitch, leave. Leave. Get out of that situation. That is what my friend self would say. Tarot reader Haley is a little bit different. I'm going to read this at all angles and see what... That is only for some of you. Please don't hate me for the rest of you. Um, for some of you, it is multiple people. For some of you, it is somebody that has different personalities that all come out at once. And what is helping you in the situation is your analytical thought. This is coming up for you. It'd be your analytical thought, the way that you think of things. Um, very higher standard of how you think you could wield your weapon with your truth. Just be careful of what truth it is that you are saying Try to step in other people's shoes first. Um, what is opposing you is emotion. So somebody else's emotion or somebody else questing for you is going to be an issue in the month of December. It's probably going to be, when I get this as opposing, it could be for yourself having struggles, um, getting emotion outright, and it could because there are other people in that view. So it is there are there is a specific message for those of you that need it. 
um, that are following the cheater path where you have your fingers in too many pies, as Tyler from Tyler's Terror will say, I love you, if you're watching this, I fucking love you. Um, <laughs> you might have your fingers in too many pies. Um, the outcome if, of this is goal completion. There is going to be some sort of success or ending of a chapter and beginning of a new one. I would like a, cl a, cl I would like a card of clarity. Please, for the world. Why is the world coming out in the outcome? Okay. This is for a very specific storyline. For the people that are following the storyline of you found out that your mate has fingers in other people's pies, I'm just saying, it is possible that there you are going to find out in the month of December and you're going to fucking nope the hell out of it. And you're like, nope, this isn't for me yet. Or you probably already know that this is happening and this is your sign, honey, to get the fuck out of that situation ship. Because that's not a relationship, it's a situation ship. To get out of it. Because the world represents endings, successful endings. It is a good card. It represents coming to the pinnacle of it and releasing the old and coming with the new. It's... Old books, beginnings of new ones, the four of wands, swords, the four of swords coming up for clarity for the for the world um, represents that it, this is something that you have known for a while. It is something that you have been resting with. You have known this person. If they're not cheating, they're being cunning. If this person is at least being cunning, you have been aware of this for a while. It's kind of, You've been in a state where you have been isolated. You've kind of restricted yourself. But you've allowed for this to continue. That's the problem. You have allowed for this to continue, but not anymore. You have been resting with it. You have been letting it happen, but you've been wary to it. You've been sleeping with a gun in your bed. You're, you're, you are defensive and aware, but you haven't done anything about it yet. That changes in this month of December 2019 for a good amount of you. For the rest of you, you do have goal completion coming out in at least some sort of form but I'm getting a very, very, very specific storyline here, and that's what my intuition is telling me, so that is what I'm going to roll with. For those of you that would like, I don't know, I, I don't want to end it there. I do want to end it there. Because I, I feel bad, because I feel like that's not saying enough, but it's definitely saying enough. For those of you that know what your situation is and know that your mate has fingers in different people's pies... That is, I, I definitely feel like the resolve for this is closing of a chapter and the beginning of a new one. I feel like this is going to be a release for a lot of you, and this is going to be a good thing for a lot of you. A good amount of you. You're not going to be sitting here. I don't see any, like, wah, boo-hoo kind of energy. I'm like, bitch, I am gone. I am cutting this shit out of my life. I definitely feel like, for the most of you, this is going to be a good thing because you don't need that fucking energy in your life. Okay, and that is the reading for December for 2019. I am going to be continuously reading. I think I'm going to be doing, oops, I'm going to be doing um, mid-month readings. I, you will definitely see more of me. If you don't see me until the end of Christmas or until the holidays are over, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever floats your boat. If you if you do like what you have kept the video there, if you like what you see here and you would like to book a personal reading with me, everything that you need to know to get one is in the description box below. If I don't see you until after the holidays, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever floats your boat. Peace out, my moon tribe.